Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to find the maximum of a quadratic function using the TI Inspire graphing calculator. So with this one, what we are going to do is we're going to take this equation, the negative x squared plus 6x minus 2, and we're going to plug it into um, the TI Inspire graphing screen. With this, the reason I know it's a maximum is because any time the value that is in front of um, x squared is negative. If this is negative, that means that your graph is always going to open downward, which means that you will always have a highest point. So with this, what we want to do is grab our calculator. So I'm going to grab my um, graphing calculator and I'm going to add a graphing screen. I haven't done anything else on this, so you can either um, grab it here. You could start a new document. You can graph in the sketch the scratch pad, but I prefer to use an actual document. So I will open a graph down here. And then all we have to do is type in our value. So I have negative x squared plus 6x minus 2. Okay, so we go ahead and we type it in here and then all you have to do is hit enter and it will graph it for you. Um, you can see that we can't see the highest point. So one thing that you can do is you can actually grab the axes. It's having a hard time. And you can actually drag it down. So I can drag it to where I can see there. Um, all you have to do is take the hand and then just hold it down. It's supposed to close for some reason. It's not showing you, but it is grabbing it. So if you notice, you can toggle back and forth. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. Um, as long as you can see the highest point, um, if this label is in your way, you can grab it and move it out of the way so it's not blocking your view. Um, so to get to the screen to find the maximum, we're going to go to menu and we're going to analyze graph. So option six, and then we're going to go to option three, which is the maximum. The lower bound means that it's just to the left of the turning point. So it's the lowest part of your interval that you're finding. And then you would do the same thing to the other side and it gives you your point is at three, seven. If it's in the way so you can't see it, you can grab it and move it out of the way. Um, so three, seven would be our answer. And most of the time, the way that you're going to write this is you would say that there is a max at seven because the highest point is seven when X equals three. If you have any questions on this, please make sure that you let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well. Um, if you liked this video and, consider, and um, are able to, please consider subscribing.